Hello friends! I thought I would do a video of my currently inked pens. So this is sort of for July as like we're in a, a, about a weekend. Which of my pens from 30 inks 30 days are still inked and have I inked any new ones? The answer to that is yes. Just take a look at it. I have decorated my little journal-y thing here that I'm using. So this is the one I'm using to track which pens I ink. I figure I can do currently inked in the back. So let's open this up. Got a paperweight handy. <laughs> Got my cheat sheet here to make sure I know what's in what pen. And I think I'll start with this one. This is the one I was using to write with yesterday. Um, the date. What is today's date? I think it's the 8th. I do not like this feeling at all. <laughs> this, this ink and this pen on this paper is... Ooh, how would I describe it? Are you writing on carpet, maybe? Um, so, <laughs> how, what is, how would you even do that, Marie? I don't know, who cares? Here we are. How do you make videos? This is my Twisby Go in smoke, the broad nib. And the ink is Diamine Earl Grey and uh, I love this. So beautiful. And for those wondering, the tea is Earl Grey, but not Diamine. It's Rishi tea. Pause to take a sip. You don't want to hear that. So that's pin number one. Love it. Uh, what else do we have? What's in this pen? Oh, I know what's in this pen. Um, this is Twisby Go. Pretty sure the color is called Sapphire. Broad nib. Ink is Dominant Industry Sunset. I'm gonna run out of fingers. This is a sample that I got and I was very excited to use. And so the moment 30 inks was over, I'm not sure I did in fact use it. Um, I have to figure out what pen I'll write with today. I'm just kind of grabbing the mulling on right now. So this is a Mommy 2000 medium nib. This, I believe, is Von Zeus. <laughs> Zeus. Yeah. And the sort of funny thing to me about having this ink in this pen is that, um, the last like two inks that I've put in here before this. Oh, I think we're almost out. We can get our ink window. Nice. The last two inks I've put in here have been this sort of magenta color. So I guess that's a theme that we're doing. Uh, how about next we come over here. Um, what is this? Oh, right. <laughs> this is a pen, Maria.
this is um, I hope you were able to hear the sound of that because I really like the sound this pen makes. I enjoy this. It's like, look at though, if you look at that uh, broad nib compared to this one, whatever. This, we're gonna rolly, rolly, roll. So this is my first logo backwards. Lot me all star. Um, and the ink. Is the uh, titular ink? Is it going dry? I think it is. I think I've written kind of a bit with it. Oh no, it's not. It's not at all. Well, why are you acting like you're going dry, friend? Maybe it's clogged. Interestingly, around here, I'm seeing like what looks like green sheen. So I have enjoyed this pen. I mean, but who doesn't love a Lamy? That helped. It has a nice sound. I'm liking this stack right here too. Let's have a sip of tea. Um, I don't remember what's in this pen. Do I? Oh, I think I do. Let's, let's double check. Yep. <clears throat> this has a long name that I'm not writing the whole thing of. Oh, gotta clean it. Can you see that? Let's assume you can. This is... This is a platinum 376, 3776 Nice Pure. This is a medium nib that you know I wish was broad. But it's nice actually. I mean, sometimes you mix it up. And the ink, Flammy Blue. This is kind of boring to me. So I might unink it. Mostly, though, I'm not too worried because this pen just, like, it's not going to dry out. So I may as well just leave it in here and use it when I feel like it. Um, you know, if I'd planned this better, we could have used only one paper. But who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm not having a paper shortage in this place. Uh, next step is, when I, is, is this my newest pen? Well, I suppose technically this is my newest pen. But this is my newest pen. My fingers are inky. I have some remnants of uh, super glue. You know, professional stuff. So this is the, uh, what is this pen again? It's a Pelican M605. It's the only one I have. Let's call it like, this is just good enough. I don't want to remember the rest of it. Medium nib. Which I got because everybody's like, oh, Pelican's right, so broad. It's like a broad for mother. No, it's not. It's like a medium. This is like a medium. Okay? Fact. This is like a fine. <laughs> and the ink is... Pelican... I don't know how I'm writing that. It'll... Sign... Aquamarine, 
right? It's this paper. I just wrote with this ink the other day and I did not have this problem. This paper just does not. It's like, oh, you want to write? Too bad. I don't want you to write. So there. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to write with this today. Because, like, I picked it up and it was just like, oh. I'm glad I still love it because this was a pricey pen. And, like, what if the luster had faded? Well, it hasn't. So, so there. Okay, get over it, Maria. This is my Santini Libra. Oh, look at that. It's so juicy with a medium nib. It's 18 karat. They make their own nibs. I love it. I love it more than is sane. Pure Pins, Perth Kerno. Cove. I also love this ink and I'm really happy I bought it. Sometimes that also, you know, the allure fades. You know what's great is I basically remembered all the inks that were in here. I feel good about that. Then we have this friendo. This is a lot of, like, we're heavy on one brand right now, which is funny because I hadn't been using these as, enough. So, this is Lamy Vista with an M nib. I had to check because that was me not knowing how to write, by the way, not the pen and ink. Um... Because my petrol has the left hand nib. So I'm just going to check. Then what ink? This is Colorverse Schrodinger. Like, look at it. Hold on. Can we? Um, we're going back to ranting about this paper that that's not this ink I think I'm gonna start I think for the currently inks I'm gonna use a different book remind me next time okay thanks um then the last pin here is this uh platinum preppy logo also backwards I don't know why they do that they they put it on like as though you're gonna write with like this way nobody does that weirdos do that anyway so platinum preppy And this is basically their medium. They give it a millimeter, which a lot of people love, but it's kind of a lie because, like, it depends on your ink and the paper and how hard you press. Do you hear that? Oh, it's the thing in the... And yes, even though I'm not like a fan anymore, I had to see. I had to see what the hype was. So this has base tape blue. And if you have heard it is a bright blue ink, you have heard correctly. If we compare it to Lamy Blue is a is a is a great blue, but they're they're different. So this is my currently inked collection. Uh, I'll talk you through my plans. I'm probably just going to use this up because I love this pen and ink and I've really enjoyed writing with it. I'm going to have a sip of tea. I'm going to use up this dominant, this uh, sunset plan because I mean it's a sample and I just inked it so. Uh, I also have a bottle in a cart. Um, this is an ink with shimmer in it, which 
I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I'm just going to do this like all of us who make videos do. Like, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Because I don't know. Um, this one I'll probably write with one more day. It does look like actually it's almost out of ink. So if I get one more day of writing, great. But I will write with one more day and then empty it. Then I have... Um, this Pro Gear, how much ink is left in it? Let's check. A fair amount. I'll write with one or two more days. I mean, honestly, that might use all the ink. But then, probably clean it. Because I just don't like to leave pens laying around filled with ink and not using them. This Lamy Vibrant Pink, I'm going to try and use this up because it's shimmer, so I don't want to neglect it. The Lamy Blue, I already talked about. There's no rush to clean this out, so oh, I rhymed. I hate it when I accidentally rhyme, so I'll use that one up. This Frendo here, I, you know what I was, as I was using it, I was like, how much ink is left? I don't know. Is there a way to tell? Nope. So that's unfortunate. I was then like trying to be real quiet and slosh it, see if I could hear any ink and neck. No. So, you know what? I'm probably just going to use this like a, one or two more times and then empty it, if I'm honest. Oh, this one I'm using up. Schrodinger, I'll give another day. And that might use up the ink. And this one's just going to stay until it's done. And then I will refill it with the same. It's just a sample I got. So, and then I'll uh, use it up. I have to say, this is really great on this cheap notebook I got for taking notes. Um, I'm finding it really fantastic for that because I can, I leave this on my, a work desk and it's the only time I'm using it. It's not drying out because it has the same kind of cap uh, mechanism that this uh, expensive platinum has. So I have to say I had read all the hype about platinum preppies and I am here to say it's true. So it looks like if we pull this out of the way, here's our currently inked. These I'm planning on writing till they're dry. These I'm planning probably, I feel guilty about this right here, but it's fine, Maria. It's fine. Ink is not, like, I have so much ink. It's fine. Anyway, so these I'm going to use one or two more times and then clean them out. Because I have, like, how many other inks? Three other inks? Two other inks that I really want to check out. So I need some pens. I, or I need to feel good about not having too many pens inked before I do that. So I'm excited to see what August's. The, the start of the month looks like or whenever I massively change over my inks and then also coming soon is going to be a video because I just saw was it Chris uh, Sign's video she just did one with her 12 favorite inks so I looked through all my inks and I was like "Ooh, I want to pick favorites so I did and so I actually came up with two favorites and two honorable mentions and I'm going to be making that video very soon like maybe later today maybe tomorrow who knows when you'll see it, though, because of all the editing I do. I don't do any editing. Um, anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun making it, um, and we had some tea together. Have a good day. Bye.